Howdy there, y'all. Uncle Rob here, and today we're going to be reviewing this beautiful, well-preserved can of Chef Boyardee beefaroni. It's pasta and tomato sauce and meat sauce. Oh boy, I can't wait. As you can see, this can has seen better days and been around a minute. It has been outside in the floor, but it's still perfectly good. That's one good thing about these Chef Boyardee products, or most canned products, they take a lick and and they're okay for eating. That didn't rhyme, but it's good. Let's, let's pop this son bitch open. I did wash the lid off. I ain't, I ain't that much of an animal. I do like these pop caps too. Got that nice residue sauce right there on the lid. You ain't licking that off. You ain't getting the essence of your food. Right there is what you're gonna open it up to. And what looks more delectable than that? That looks like when you look at un unknown parts of the human body and you're like, what the hell is that? And it's like, when you get real close up in there, she looks perfectly healthy. Let's try this delectable cocktail. And my method's always been the more dented up, messed up the can, the sweeter the, the innards, you know. I ain't had a bad Chef RD yet. Let's dig into this delectable product. I have some pretty good looking size noodles there. There's some meat residue on the sauce on this on this side here not bad kind of bland but the noodles are pretty consistent for a canned noodle they're pretty uh got good chew to them they're not too uh they're not too mushy they're not obviously not fresh, but they're definitely not. They do have a good mouth feel to them. When you got a noodle in your mouth, you just you want to feel some firmness to it. You're just insulted if you got a salt too soft of a noodle. Now, ain't that right, ladies? Usually these get better as you go. It's my experience, once the sauce and the meat sauces and tomato sauces. Start marinating in your mouth to get something. Excuse me, I got an itch. There's, out here in Alabama, these bugs are out in full force. I done sprayed myself down with some outdoors bug repellent, but that's probably killing me faster than it's getting them. They'll be all over me. Probably getting high having a damn party. It's probably like four loco to them. No artificial flavors, no preservatives. Quality ingredients since 1924. Well, that's a little bit old. No wonder it tastes kind of weird. 1924 and still quality tasting ingredients. They hold up pretty good over there at the Boyardee plant. Heating directions. If y'all are going through the trouble heating all this up, I just don't know. It's always good to me. All these kind of pasta in the cans are best just right out the can. I like cold food. I'm weird like that. A lot of people don't, but I like, even when I make sketty myself, I make it hot for everybody else, but I wait till it cools down and congeal. I like the congealed noodles. It's like macaroni and cheese. I like it. I like it uh, cold and when it's congealed, like when you have to cut it, like it's pie. That's the best macaroni and cheese right there. And sadly, I do like the like craft mac and cheese, uh, instant cheese, macaroni and cheese is better than homemade and all that to me. I'm just saying, you make it at home. You make your own, add stuff to it. And welcome everybody that come over from TikTok. More of me eating, because over there that seems to be the biggest, the biggest amazement. How do you eat? How do you eat? How do you breathe? I eat all the damn time. How do you think I keep this voluptuous figure? Look at these, look at this, these games just don't just don't happen, son. Ugh. If I don't eat, I get a case of the vapors. I'm just out. Like I said, the more you eat on this, the better the flavors get. It's a pretty good little can. Like I said, all these I tried, and Chef Wardy hadn't let you down for whatever they cost a can, you know. At most like a buck. You can't go wrong. I'm going to grab something just to eat something. I don't feel like cooking. Pop you a can of Chef Boy RD and sit out back, get ate by bugs, and do a YouTube. Yeah, I have that nutritional value from a motivational speaking. Life coaching just don't happen without proper fuel. 
how am I supposed to tell people how to live their life if I'm not properly fed? Honestly. But yep, it's a hot and sweaty one here. Just enjoying it while it's not raining. Rained yesterday pretty much all day and nighttime. Had some thunder and lightning. Thought the damn power was going to go out. Luckily it didn't. I think we got a few nice days and it's going to be a solid week of a thunderstorm, so they say. So that ain't going to be fun. I figured I'd open up my savory dented can. It's been aged to perfection and make y'all a short little video. Not short. I never can do anything short. I just freaking, I just go on and on on here. These are good. I like these noodles though. They got a good link farm for a little canned noodle. Usually get them little macaroni ones about that big. Nobody likes a short noodle. Don't I know that? Uh. But if y'all got any requests for canned food, uh, stuff like this, you want me to try something I can get, I will give it a try. So give me some suggestions on canned stuff or food like that, something I can get a hold of, uh, something I can get on Amazon, let me know. I'll test it, by God. I like doing these food, these can reviews. I'm probably going to do me some sardine ones coming up here soon, get me some more flavored full sardines. Tuna was over there having sardine. Old Tuna, she hadn't ever had sardines. She was, she was, she had every, she had like four different kinds of sardines. She's questioning all her life choices. We're going to have to start calling her sardine. I'll let you know. I ain't, I ain't heard the verdict yet, but I'm still gonna call her tuna. <clears throat> Things moving around here in the bushes. You know, them damn lizards. Old Copperstone kid over there, if you ain't checked her channel out. I don't know, she ain't done much lately, but Copperstone kid's my buddy on here, so check out her and Sam Squatch channel. Tell her to do something, tell her to do some reviews. She sent all these damn lizards over here to spy on me. Lizards and lizard people. When she's not out back behind my shed over there, leaving her moo moos and and underwears and ain't it's either hers or them damn boys. She's out there turning into men. Good lord, I don't want to know what happens. All I know is I got to clean it up, and I'm running out of purple power. And by God, things I've seen back there, moo moos and whoo. I have to keep a watch out of here. Things moving in these trees. Dang lizard people watching. Little some bitches, big some bitches. You never know. Probably these little mosquitoes or drones. Knowing her, always, always messing with my stuff. Hell, she's probably the one that did in my can of Chef Boy RD. Well, does she know how much I like a dented can? So, <laughs> adds that flavor. Get that aluminum, that aluminum from the can gets mixed in with the. You can kind of see it in there. See where it dents. So you can see the break in it. Gets that aluminum flavoring into the boy RD. Sure, it might give you Alzheimer's and other health problems, but it's delicious. And you won't know it's you won't know about your health problems after aluminum gives you the all timers. You'll just be happy to be there or pissed off you're there. You just won't know what you are. Sad really, but at the same time you might not know, so But anyway, it's pretty good stuff. So I suggest you get you a can of Chef Boy R D beef aroni. You don't want that regular aroni, you want the beef aroni because you gotta get that beef. Even though I suspect this is Beth, uh, it's still good. And uh, look for your dented one, because they got the best flavoring. And remember to go there, if you're not from TikTok on here, go there and check me out on TikTok. Just look at Rob Tacklebox, because I'm over there all the time. Check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Rob Tacklebox everywhere, baby. Just Google me. I'm everywhere. I pop up. Add me on them places, man. I'm about to hit 300, I think, on Instagram finally. I got hardly anybody on Twitter, but I'm doing good on TikTok, and I'm up 700 or something on here. So thank everybody for, for subscribing over here. I'm 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 hitting that towards that 1,000 mark. I'm gonna try to do more videos over here. I know I've been slacking, just been busy with TikTok, and and YouTube's is pissing me off with all their. We're not gonna do the, you know, we're gonna edit videos and be communist and censor people. 
Uh, if you take anything serious, anybody on here has to say. Got some roni in my beard. I mean, seriously. I don't like their experts. YouTube hadn't contacted me to be an expert yet, so I know they're full of shit with their with their experts. If I'm not one of them, can you really trust what this YouTube here is telling you? I think not. They're probably going to edit this video, censor this video, because the World Health Organization, the WHO, are not going to approve of my, my advice about beefaroni, the Alabama treat. Back in my days of, of mysterious activities, that's what they called me, beefaroni, the Alabama treat. If you know, you know. But anyway, hope y'all having a good day. And you probably hear my frogs out here. I ain't got them to say Budweiser yet, but they're working on it. Y'all have a good one. Get you a can of the beefaroni. Stay tuned for more pointless videos. I'm Rob Tacklebox. And I don't know where the camera is half the time on this thing.